Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. So we are eating from our freezer tonight. I had about six hamburger patties from um, Sam's that we needed to use. So Howard grilled our hamburgers. And so this is his plate and he's got bacon. We've got some white cheddar cheese. He's got tomato and avocado and he does not like his bun toasted. So it is not toasted. And then I just made some fries in the air fryer. These are the fries that I use, these Orida fries, and they were also in the freezer, extra crispy, and they're actually pretty good. You know, it's really hard to get fries to taste good in the air fryer, um, and these actually do taste pretty good from the air fryer. I didn't even spray them or anything, and they turned out good, I like them. And then this is my plate, we've got fries, and then I'm a plain Jane when it comes to burgers. I just have bacon, cheese, and then I buttered and grilled my bun. I'm only eating half. I'm just trying to eat a little bit better, especially before the holidays. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making this broccoli beef. Never made it before. Let me flip it over on the back, and it shows you what you need. Just the packet of seasoning, beef steak. I'm actually using um, skirt steak and then vegetable oil, broccoli, and onion. So here's my onion, here's my broccoli, here is my skirt steak that I cut up um, across the grain. And then I am trying a technique that I haven't tried before, it's called velveting. It is what Chinese restaurants do to their meat to make it so very tender. I'll leave the link to velveting in the description box because they tell you how to velvet different pieces of meat. So all I am going to do is sprinkle this baking soda on the beef, rub it in really well, refrigerate it for 20 minutes, take it out, rinse it off really well, and then stir fry it and it's supposed to be super tender. So we shall see. Okay, so here is our dinner, very easy to prepare. I did end up adding some minced garlic and soy sauce to it to add a little bit more flavor. I will say I think the meat is a lot more tender than it would have been had I just used it as is, but I think it could have been more tender. I think next time, I'll let it velvet or sit in that baking soda for longer. So I did follow the instructions the first time, 20 minutes, but I think it could probably go for 45 minutes or an hour, maybe, I don't know. I'll have to play with it. Serving it over some rice, and then we are also trying out these egg rolls for the very first time. I picked these up on a um, recent HEB haul, so we will see how that is. I threw them in the air fryer, so they smell delicious. So this is what's for dinner tonight, and we'll see y'all next time. So tonight I am cooking from my freezer. I am going to be making some of these tamales that I picked up from my grocery store. You're actually supposed to keep them frozen, and then you boil them in this bag. Um, so these are cheese and jalapeno tamales. I'm making some black beans and I'm getting ready to make my Mexican rice. We do have a video on our channel for this rice. It's so easy. So this step is optional. I just have some oil in the pan and then I've got some rice in the pan and I just kind of let it saute and brown in there. To that, I'm going to be adding some water, some salsa, and some seasoning. So the recipe calls for chicken broth, but I am using, of course, water, and then I'm using this tomato and chicken bouillon. I also have in here, I have garlic salt and cumin as well. So I'm just going to pour this in, stir it up, cover it up, and let it simmer for about, mm, I guess, 20 minutes or so, or until the rice is cooked. Okay, so here's our plates. Here are the tamales, black beans, the rice, and this is Howard's plate, of course, because there's avocados on it. And then this is my plate. I am having the same thing, except I added some salsa to my tamales. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see y'all next time. 
So for dinner tonight, I'm trying out a new recipe. It is Parmesan crusted chicken. So I have four um, pieces of chicken here. These were two large chicken breasts that I flattened and cut in half. In this bowl, I have a couple of eggs. I also have garlic, Italian seasoning, and salt. And in this um, bowl, if you will, I have Parmesan cheese, um, panko bread crumbs and flour and I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box for you guys so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in there with my hands is to dredge this chicken in the egg mixture and then dredge it in the Parmesan and then I'm gonna pan fry it so let's get started Okay, so I ran out of coating, so I had to whip up some more really quickly. But in my skillet, I warmed up some butter and um, olive oil. And it says to just gently place your chicken in and then to let it cook until it's golden brown. It said like four minutes on each side. I feel like it'll take longer than that. So got my first two pieces in and we shall see. Okay, so here's dinner. Here is the chicken and it turned out really good. It really didn't take that long to cook at all. The recipe said three or four minutes on each side and that's probably what I cooked it. And it's crunchy, has a good flavor. Here are the rest of the, um, the rest of the chicken on the plate here, just letting it drain. I am serving it with some mashed potatoes and um, canned corn. I was gonna make a green vegetable. I know this plate looks kind of blah, but this is what I felt like eating. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having smoked brisket and sausage pizza. I picked this up on a recent HEB haul. I'll link it in the description box, but here is what the box looks like. And it comes with brisket, uh, sausage, pickled red onion, mozzarella, and cheddar cheese. So I will say that the brisket did dry out a little bit, as you can see. But it's still, the brisket is really good. Very smoky, good flavor. The sausage is spicy. It has a kick to it. So we are going to dig into this. You can see the pickled red onion and you can see all the different cheeses. So Howard and I are both really excited to try this out because we love barbecue. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time.